Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking layout using Adobe Illustrator and InDesign. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to create our grid using Adobe Illustrator. So what I'm gonna do is I'm here in Adobe Illustrator now and I'm just gonna click on a new A4 document and then just go to create. Once I have that, then what I need to do is I'm just going to pick the rectangle tool. I'm gonna to make sure that it has a solid fill and I don't need any stroke. Once I have that, I'm just going to draw a rectangle on my page just like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to align it to the center of that document. So once I'm happy with the size and the shape and everything, then what I can do is I can go to uh, object, path and split into grid. So this is where the magic happens. If I click on preview, and now if I increase the number of rows and columns, you can see what is actually happening there. So I'm gonna keep it at simple at five, five. And for the gutter, I'm just gonna change it to four. If you want it to be thicker or anything like that, you can change that there as well. So once you're happy with that, you can just press okay. And now we can start to modify this design. So if I click on the direct selection tool, and then if I click on one of these um, points over here, you can see what is actually happening. And if I double click on one of these points, you can see that there are different options that you can use. But let's say for example, I want this side to only be rounded. What I can do is I can just click and move that. So it looks something like that. And I'm gonna do the same for the bottom one as well and I'll probably keep it the same to be honest and I'm just going to make sure that it fits just exactly like that. So the other thing that I did is I just, um, I was holding shift and I uh, selected all of these uh, shapes and if I just did a little bit of, you know, like a kind of rounded to it. I didn't go too far because if you start to go too far, there's a bit more white space that kind of happens in there, but I'm pretty happy with that. But you can really go crazy here um, as much as you want. You can even uh, delete shapes if you want. Um, you can kind of do whatever you want in here. So go nuts with that. Once you're happy with your design, let's take it to Adobe InDesign. So in order to do that, what we need to do is we need to find the layers panel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, hit that circle over there, hold shift, highlight all of the layers, and then you can select that final circle over there and that will select everything. So I'm just gonna press Command or Control uh, C to copy that and then I'm gonna go into InDesign. So here we are in InDesign and all I need is a two page spread. So I'm just going with an A4 document. I'm going with two pages, two facing pages and I'm gonna start at page two. So there is no kind of cover page. You can leave everything else uh, exactly the same and then just press create. So once I have that, then I can press Command or Control V to paste. And now with that being selected, I can press the selection tool, right click on this, ungroup, and then without touching anything else, you can go into object, path, make compound path. And so now that will be very important when we put our image into there. So we don't need that for the moment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna press Command uh, X to cut that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the rectangle tool, make sure that you have no fill or no stroke. And I'm just going to draw an area where I want that shape to be. So it's pretty much this side of the magazine document. And then I'm just gonna go to edit, paste into. So now my shapes are all over there. So I have to click this little circle um, to highlight my shape and then I can just move it over to wherever I want. So you can put it to wherever you want. You can align it however you want, but I'm gonna keep it something like that. So now once we have that, now what we need to do is we need to generate our image to put in there. 
So for that, I'm just using Adobe Firefly and I've just, you know, put in a prompt for a curled up sleeping cat. Everybody loves cats. And I really like this one. So once you're finished generating, then all you have to do is just download it and then we'll put it back into Adobe InDesign. So now that we've downloaded our cat, all we have to do is just drag it into here. Cool, so now we have our cat, but our cat is extremely large. So what I need to do is, I'm gonna click on that circle and then I'm just gonna go to fitting and I'm just going to go to uh, fit content proportionally. Now I have my cat in there, but I've got these black sections at the top. So I'm gonna hit that circle again. I'm gonna hold shift and I'm just going to make sure that it goes over all the black areas just like that. And now you can play around with, you know, how you wanna, you know, set it out, but I'm gonna leave it just like that. Now we're gonna work on the other side, which is the text side. So the first thing that we need to do is we are going to create a small little line at the top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab the line tool and then I'm just gonna start at this point over here, hold shift and draw it to that point over there. I am going to change the stroke to about one and the opacity, I will drop that down to probably about 70, maybe even a bit less. Let's go to about 60%, okay? So now we have our line. And what else I'm gonna do in here is I'm gonna grab the gradient tool all right, and so once I have the gradient tool selected, I'm just gonna draw a gradient that goes, it doesn't really matter which way it goes, but I'm gonna go from this way to that way. And you can see that it kind of fades out over there. So that was the first section. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just add some text uh, up here at the top. So I'm just gonna call it, uh, grid design and for this uh, font I'm going to be using Lato so for this section over here I'm just going to be using Lato regular and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that into the center alignment so I've just gone to my paragraph um, over there and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring it down slightly so it's just appearing on the line just like that so the next thing that we need is a heading. So I'm just gonna be using the same heading that I had uh, before. And again, with the heading, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make sure that the text box goes all the way to the end over here. And for that font, what I'm gonna be using is also Lato as well. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to duplicate that line we just made just before. So I'm just gonna put that underneath the heading just like that. So now we need an image in there as well. So the easiest way to do this is to go back to Adobe Illustrator. And I'm pretty happy with this rounded edges um, section over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna press Command C to copy it. And then back in InDesign, I'm just going to paste it in there. And I'm just gonna paste it in that section. So I'll even bring this line Maybe just uh, just there, so something like that. And then I can space the uh, heading in there. So what I'm gonna do, now that section is ready for an image. So all I'm gonna do is just drag my image inside of there. All right, so now you can't even see the image. So what you need to do is just go to fitting and then you can go to fit content proportionally. And then we can do the same thing that we did before. We just need to increase it a little bit at the top and bottom so there are no black parts. So I think that looks pretty cool. And the next thing that we need to do is we need to have a bit of a subheading. So the subheading is now we are going to use um, one of the colors from the cat image and we'll see how that looks. So again, for the subheading, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to make sure that it fits, you know, that entire section uh, over there. And once I have that, then I can just put it underneath just like that. And for that, I'm just gonna use uh, center alignment. So it's in the 
the middle. Now to change the color from that, all I'm gonna do is highlight the text and then if I go to my paint dropper tool, I can pick any of these colors that are in this document. So you can play around with some of those settings. I'm just gonna go with this uh, pinkish kind of um, color and I'm pretty happy with that. So now we've just got the bottom bit of text uh, here as well. But before we do any of that stuff, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to grab this uh, line that I have over here and I'm just going to just change uh, which way the gradient is coming over here. So I'm gonna put it on this side and then all I need to do is just uh, grab the T tool and just fill that in and I can just fill that with placeholder text. So if I go to uh, type um, fill with placeholder text and there we go and the font for this I'm going to be using uh, Lato and I'll be using Lato Lite and I'm pretty happy with that. The only other thing that I did is I had a drop cap for the first letter. So if I go to my paragraph settings and if I just increase that to you know, to something like that, um, that will be it. So anyways, that's it for this very simple tutorial on how to create a grid design using Illustrator and InDesign. So anyways, guys, that's it for this short lesson. Uh, that's how you create a very simple grid design uh, using Adobe Illustrator and Adobe InDesign. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and I will see you guys in the next video.